Half point nine one one. Where's your emergency? There is a person online who was threatening to blow up my high school. A Guilford County student is behind bars for allegedly threatening to blow up High Point Central High School. It comes just weeks after police say another Guilford County student threatened five other schools. That student also faces charges tonight. WFNY News' News Jenna Kurzina joins us live in High Point with more on the latest threat and what officers say it will take to stop them. This is just another an example of if you see something, say something, which is what you just heard in that 911 call. Law enforcement say that that call was the tip that helped them solve this situation in less than six hours. High Point Police arrested a 16 year old male Sunday after investigators say that the teen posted a threat on Snapchat. We aren't sharing the post, but it talked about a bomb threat at High Point Central. Investigators say they got the call Sunday afternoon around one about the threat. When these threats are generated, we take them seriously and we look at every threat as credible until we can prove that it's not. And so you are. It's like pulling a fire alarm in a building. The fire department's going to respond. People are going to evacuate the building. Uh, then all these resources are expended to try to figure out what the problem is and if there is really a problem. I spoke to a mom whose daughter is in 10th grade here at Central. She says as a parent, this is concerning and seems to be happening way too often. It's very unnerving because it just seems like there's always something going on. High Point Police say it's important for the community to continue to do the saying. If you see something, say something. Simple enough, right? If you see a post on Facebook or social media, don't reshare it. Report it to law enforcement. Now, the agency did not confirm if this teenager that was arrested was a student here at Central, but did say that he is in the Guilford County School System. He remains in custody, but details are limited because he is a juvenile.